the new net merit in for 2021 is much improved in, in uh, both the committee's view and my own personal view. Uh, we're adding feed saved, which is a critically important uh, trait um, in that cows, we want them to produce lots of milk, but we want them to eat as little as possible doing it. The committee was unanimous in recommending that feed save be included in August evaluations. Um, there's enough, uh, there was enough comfort with how things are being done that we recommend it to the full board. The change in that merit that we mostly focused on was feed save. It was a very lively discussion. We have uh, four people on our producer advisory committee besides myself, and along with uh, the technical people like Paul Van Raden and uh, Zhao, uh, we discussed this at length. And we had other experts also that, that uh, gave their view of it. But um, I think being a brand new trade, everybody was interested in how it was calculated, how it was weighted, especially the weighting was of particular concern because if you take these traits with less information, you can end up with uh, less reliability in the process. And um, even though we're, the way it ends up, even though maybe we're sacrificing a little reliability, we're getting more accuracy in analyzing whether a cow is more profitable or less profitable than the cow next to her. And that is the goal. The bottom line is that these cow, that now we have the formula refined that we can dramatically improve our accuracy in choosing which cows that we're going to breed and move forward with in the population and which cows probably are not as profitable and can be um, bred to Angus or not keep uh, the resulting calves from these cows. I really feel these changes to the new net merit 2021 formula is big step forward. We're adding feed saved in at a reasonable level to identify cows that eat less. And that in combination with the production traits will help us identify the most profitable females. Some other little tweaks to the formula. Uh, everybody knows that first lactation cows produce less than second and third lactation cows. We've changed uh, the weightings on each lactation slightly to, to reflect that. Uh, the combination of that and adding in calf livability and, and some other smaller traits uh, really is going to refine our selection process and, and give us more accuracy as to who the most valuable females in the population are and who to move forward with and who maybe we thought was most profitable before, high production traits, but maybe uh, the feed saved wasn't too good. Uh, we, there will be some small realignments probably in the population, but very important realignments. Net Merit's the best selection tool available. We've been using Net Merit as our primary selection tool since 1994. Our herd has dramatically improved its feed efficiency, its health, its, its overall production while and fertility. I couldn't say more about uh, uh, how what it's done as far as easier calving, longer lived cows, higher fat, higher protein, lower cell counts, um, and let the cow look how she wants to look, but let's uh, get the most profitable cow on the ground as possible. And also, uh, because Net Merit was a leader in, in um, in the fact that cows are getting too big. Our cows are smaller than um, my neighbor's Holstein cows for sure, because we bred for net merit and they're producing more with a smaller cow. So um, judging by the new formula, we, we, we were on the right track to gaining efficiency. Uh, and that lines right up with all the university's research that went into the net merit formula. I really feel that uh, adding more traits adds more uh, reality to the situation. Uh, I don't care why a cow is more profitable, but I wanna choose the highest profit cow. And by choosing the highest net merit bulls from that population, I'm going to get the highest profit cow. So including these traits like calf livability, that all affects our bottom line. You can't be losing calves. You can't have mastitis, mastitis resistance critical. Uh, productive life is huge. And 
um, by using that merit art and by making some other changes to our protocols too, we have reduced our vet cost since 2014 by two thirds. When, when analyzed on a per hundred weight basis, in other words, our cows are producing more milk and our vet costs are less. We've cut them from 90 cents down to 31 cents a hundred weight. Um, that's, that's genetic. Uh, yes, we've done some more things ourselves like foot trimming, but the, the genetic portion, um, there is no doubt that these formulas are, are uh, identifying the better cows to move forward with in the population.